Hi, this is John Miller. I'm a regional sales manager at Coachman RV and I'm here to talk to you about the Coachman Adrenaline at Motorhome Specialist. This floor plan that we're talking to you today is a 26CB. The, uh, the big features on our toy hauler here on the outside that you'll see is we have a laminated wall with aluminum tube construction. Now one thing that sets the Coachman product apart is that we use a product on the inside of our wall called ASDO, which is a synthetic composite material which eliminates the use of wood on the outside layer of your wall. As you can see by this product here, we've got a lot of windows, uh, to add a lot of light on the inside of the trailer, and it gives you a good viewing from inside to the outside no matter where you're camping at or parked with this trailer. All the features on the outside include an electric awning that you can see above me with the LED light strip. We've also got a large entry assist handle, which is easy to use here. It helps you come inside the trailer and we also do that with three steps as opposed to two on a lot of the competition. As you'll see down here on the back, we've got the patio kit on the back, which is nice so you can go out and, and visit with your friends and it gives you a place for a VIP area. What you see down here that we have is uh, Dexter axles. Um, on this trailer, we have 5,200 pound axles. There's two of them. We also use radial tires and aluminum wheels. We also use Dexter Never Adjust Brakes and Dexter Easy Flex Suspension Enhancement on our suspension system. Up front in this corner we have a storage bay which goes two-thirds of the way through on the other end is going to be your generator box. It's a good spot for outside storage of you know supplies and utilities you might need while you're out using this trailer. Below the baggage door in the front, you will find a stabilizer jack. We have four of them on this trailer in each of the corners. That way, if you are parked on uneven ground, you can level your trailer and it's not going to move around as you walk inside the trailer. Along the bottom of the trailer, we use a metal skirting, which is wrapped underneath, and it's connected to your I-beams with steel braces. Speaking of the I-beams underneath, every one of the Adrenaline trailers is a fully enclosed underbelly. So it's got a corrugated plastic that keeps it sealed from underneath so you're not going to get rocks and debris and all that going up and um, creating a problem inside where your tanks sit. Plus with that we have a heated underbelly because off of our furnace we have a two inch duct that blows directly down into your underbelly. So we do actually have a fully enclosed heated underbelly on all floor plans of the Coachman Adrenaline. Above me here you'll see that we have two exterior speakers that play from the stereo inside. So this way when you're out under the awning or by a campfire, you can still use them to entertain yourselves with some live music. We also see up here that there is a vent. There's one on the other side of the unit and that provides cross ventilation as you're traveling down the road or as the unit sits um, in case there's any fumes or anything inside the toy hauler. So it gives them a good place to escape if the ramp door is closed. Okay, so here we are on the front of the trailer. All Adrenaline Toy Hauler Travel Trailers have a nice aerodynamic radius front. You can see the nice bright red and black graphics. We do some accent lighting with blue on the front. It's also in the step wells that I forgot to mention over here on the side of the unit. So on all step wells of Adrenalines, there are some blue lights under there so you can see where your steps are at night if you're out walking around and come back to your trailer. Up here on the front of the trailer, there's quite a few things to talk about, so let's get started. On this side over here, you've got a Furion solar plug for a Furion solar panel. It is a 10 amp. It's directly wired to your battery to keep your battery charged. We've also got a power tongue jack. This comes standard on all of our trailers because when you're packing in and, and parking this thing, we want it to be as easy as possible. So it's got a light for nighttime parking and, and hitching. And then it's also easily one button use up and down. Behind that, we've got two 30-pound LP bottles. So you've got 60 pounds of propane on an adrenaline toy hauler because we know you're not always in a spot where you've got readily access to propane. So when you're out dry camping or out having fun, we don't want you to run out and, and have to go into town to get what you need. Walking around to this side of the trailer, we've got a marine-style battery disconnect. So all you got to do is you come up front and you hit the switch, and it shuts all the power to the trailer off so you're not going to drain your batteries. Speaking of the battery, each one has a rack right up front where you can put two or even three batteries if you choose to have more than one. The last thing we can talk about up front is a spare tire. 
most toy haulers are going to put a spare tire underneath your garage in the back. Here at Adrenaline, we put the spare tire up front on the A-frame because we want you to have easy access to it. You know, the worst thing you need to happen is be out on the interstate and have a, a flat tire where you got to change it. And like most of the toy haulers, having it underneath the garage means that you have to crawl underneath your trailer to go get that spare tire out. And I don't want you to do that with traffic coming by. So by putting it up front, you can easily jack it down and you can grab it right here on front of the trailer. You're never underneath it and in harm's way. Here on the off door side of the trailer, we can start up front. We'll just talk about the weight of this trailer as it sits. Currently, because it's got the optional generator and the optional patio kit, this trailer is 7,300 pounds dry. The gross vehicle weight rating of the 26CB is 10,800 pounds, which leaves you a large cargo capacity of almost 3,500 pounds for this trailer alone. To me, that's plenty for everything you're gonna need for your camping trip. Well, talking about this, this generator here, it is a 4,000 watt Onan quiet RV style generator. And if it wasn't with the optional generator, this trailer comes fully equipped, generator prepped from the factory to start with. So the fuel lines, the electrical, the auto transfer switch, even a remote start switch is already wired inside this trailer. Now, motorhome specialist brings them in with the generator because they know most of our customers are camping off the grid or outside campgrounds. So a generator is a great idea because it allows you to use everything about this trailer while you're not plugged into a campground power. You'll also see as I shut this door that all of our gen doors are vented so that your generator will be able to breathe. And it, and it also is open from underneath so the generator can pull air that way as well. The exhaust is ran out the side to keep all the fumes away from the bedroom area and inside the trailer where you're gonna be inside you know, entertaining or sleeping. Here you've got a black tank flush. This comes standard on all of our adrenaline trailers as well. It's a real nice feature that not a lot of trailers are still putting in and it allows you to clean out your black tanks with a lot of ease. Underneath you'll see your sewage dump and your drain poles. And all of our tanks are connected so that they all come through one spot. You don't have to bother with moving your septic hose to drain a separate tank. Speaking of the tanks on the adrenaline, all of our floor plans come with 100 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 30 gallons of black. Moving down here, you'll have your, your city connection and your park cable connection, along with your 30 amp shore cord power. All of our floor plans are 30 amp power with exception of the 30 QBS, which is a 50 amp trailer. Moving down, you'll see your hot water heater. We use a six gallon DSI water heater. Above that is a spray port. Now with toy haulers, we chose to do a spray port instead of an outside shower because we know that our customers are out using their toys, getting dirty, you know, and when you need to wash that off or, or clean something off, you need more pressure behind the water than just an outside shower is going to allow. So we got a quick connect water hose with a garden nozzle on the end so you can actually spray off your toys. Moving down here at the end is another standard feature that we put on. It's a 30 gallon fuel station with a hose inside here so you can pump fuel into your toys. So when you're out having a great time, you don't have to stop and run into town to get more gas. You can pump it right from your trailer. You have it right with you. The connection for your pump is right here. It also gives you a, a fuel reading so you know how much fuel is left in your 30 gallon tank. Now I will mention that your generator also pulls gas from this tank here. So your 30 gallons is spread out between your generator use and your toys. The switch right here on off, this controls your 12 volt pump in the back and that is what you need to turn on to be able to pump gas out of this hose and nozzle. Here in the corner is the second cross ventilation vent on the, this side of the trailer. If you remember on the, on the door side that we talked about, I pointed this out but I just wanted you to see that there is one on both sides of the trailer as mentioned. The last thing that I haven't talked about here on, on this exterior of the trailer is the roof of the adrenaline. We use a laminated roof uh, with aluminum tube construction and high density foam insulation. So all of our AC ducts and all of our wiring is actually constructed inside the roof itself. Now what's nice about a laminated roof is it's solid all the way through so you are able to get up and walk on these roofs to do your maintenance 
as per instructed on your owner's manual. Okay, here we are on the rear of the trailer. Now I wanted to talk to you today about the patio kit that was an option that was put on this trailer as well. You can see that this is the ramp that is used to bring your toys in and out of the trailer. We've got it in the up position with the patio all set up. So what this does is provides you with an enclosed area that you can come out and sit and have breakfast, you can grill, you can just hang out, um, you know, and it, and it really just keeps everything in. I've seen a lot of people where their kids come out and play or even pets can come out and it gives them an extra area to be outside the trailer if they want to come out and get some fresh air. So this patio is really easy to set up. You got the pins in the corners to be able to lift it up and down. Now this patio, when it's set up, has a weight rating of 1,500 pounds. And that, to me, is plenty for, let's say, four or five good-sized adults or, you know, a good family sitting out here and enjoying the, the day. Another thing that we can talk about on the back is the bar locks that we've chose to use on the Adrenaline. The bar locks that we chose are, are a newer feature, and they've got nylon bushings instead of the metal bushings that you're used to, washers that you're used to seeing in the older style bar locks. What this does is provides a lot easier use, and over time they're not going to rust out and create all that squeaking and friction that you're used to in the older style toy haulers. Now that we've talked about the entire outside of this trailer, let's go on inside and see the many features that are inside there. All right, here we are inside the 26CB Adrenaline. The first thing you're going to notice is our light colored wood to keep everything light and bright on the interior and the massive amount of storage that we put inside our travel trailer toy haulers. The biggest thing that you need when you're going out on the road is a place to put all your pots and pans and your dishes and your riding gear and any other utility items that you might want with you. And we've given you plenty of space to put them inside this trailer. So as you can see, we got big tall cabinet doors with magnet catches so they're gonna stay shut when you're traveling. You're not worried about your items falling out going down the road. All the lighting inside this trailer is LED, so it's not going to eat up your battery use when you're out camping, and it's going to last a lot longer than your traditional incandescent bulbs will. And right here by the door, you can see we've got a nice little pantry or a little storage closet for some other items that you might bring with you. Once again, it's got two magnets, so it's going to stay shut when you're traveling down the road. Let's talk about these chairs for a minute. With Adrenaline, what we've done is we've taken some floor plans, we've made them what we consider to be a little more functional. Typically, this floor plan is going to have a permanent wall-mounted sofa by this window, and what we do with that is by removing that, it saves you 8 to 10 inches of storage space on the floor, and now we've got a lot more seating as far as these recliners go as opposed to having a sofa, and it's much more comfortable for your viewing pleasure of the standard 40-inch TV. These recliners swivel, they also lounge, and by hitting the lever down here, they're also recliners. A much more functional and a much more comfortable option that we've put in our travel trailer toy haulers. You can see a little table here. It's a nice place to put some snacks or drinks while you're sitting watching TV or, or entertaining your guests. Okay, transitioning over here to this side, let's talk about the kitchen in the Adrenaline toy haulers. First thing you notice is we use a nice double bowl sink with a cover, that way you can use it as a cutting board or extra counter space. Above that, we have a standard convection microwave. We do a three burner cooktop, and that allows us to put actual drawers on, on ball bearing drawer guides and more storage underneath the sink. Moving over here in the corner, you'll find an eight cubic foot Norcold refrigerator. It is the double version where you've got the freezer up top and the refrigerator on the bottom. What's nice about this refrigerator on the outside is it's got the ergonom ergonomic door handles so that you don't have anything else impeding into the storage space if you bring your vehicles inside the trailer. Above the microwave, you can see we've got a lot more storage. Cabinetry everywhere in this trailer, and that's what we were going for. We wanted to make sure that you have space for everything you need to take with you. Transitioning down the cabinet here, you can see the third recliner. This floor plan does come with three. And then you'll also see our stereo. The stereo that we chose to use is a Jensen brand, along with the TV. The 40-inch TV is directly connected to the stereo via an HDMI cable as opposed to a red, white, yellow AV cables that you usually see in travel trailer toy haulers. What's real nice about this stereo is it's Bluetooth capable, so you can connect your smartphone to it. And it's also app controlled. So you can download the Jensen J-Control app 
and you can use any of the functions about this stereo and control anything about it from anywhere within a Bluetooth radius. So if you're out at the fire, you can listen to your music, you can change it on your iPod, you can change your, your radio stations, you can change a CD song that you want to do, or if you're watching a DVD, you can control all the DVD controls that are on the TV as well. This stereo is also capable of playing the sound from the TV through your speakers in the trailer and outside, that way, if it's a really hot day and the AC might be blowing and that's a little bit loud, you can play your TV through the speakers and it allows you to hear it a lot better and a lot clearer. The last thing I'm going to mention about this stereo is that it's a three-zone stereo. So inside the trailer, you've got four speakers, and outside the trailer, you've got two. So zone A is going to control two speakers, zone B is going to control two speakers, and zone C is going to control the exterior two speakers. Now what's nice about that is, if you're in a campground setting, you can turn off your exterior speakers and still listen inside. Or if somebody comes in and goes to bed at night, you can shut off your interior speakers and still have music playing on the outside of the trailer. Alright, going toward the back of the trailer now, you can see what we call the Happy Jack bed system. So what this does for this trailer is allows two more clean beds set up for more sleeping. It gives you a nice sofa set up for a dinette or more seating during entertainment time. We've got this top bed in the down position, which we can refer to as the bunk position. Um, to create bunk beds here, you just take the backs of these sofas and you roll them in toward the middle, and this will create a double bed system. Now when you want to take this up out of the way to bring in and out your toys, or if you just want it out of the way so you have ease of flow, we can take this all the way up to the top using this electric switch right here. So by bringing it up, it gets it up out of the way, you know, so that you have full access in and out of the trailer. Now these beds, I can explain to you real quick how they work. The top bed is, is a free floating system and it is completely dependent on what we do down here at the bottom. So by continuing to hit that button, these beds will go right up out of the way all the way to the ceiling. If you want the top bed to stay up so you can bring your dinette or sofas down, there's pins that come with it that go in the tracks and they'll hold the top bed in the up position. So then when you come back and hit this button to bring these in the down position, only the sofas will come down. So now when you get these back down in the lower position, you just grab the backs of the sofas and roll them back into the sofa position. And it gives you, you know, your sofas or your dinette. Each trailer does come with an adjustable table that fits here between the sofas. Now we use an adjustable leg table for this because in the Adrenalines we have a 40 inch beaver tail. Now, compared to some of the competition that might use a, a 10 to 18 inch beaver tail, and then some of them have used 24. By going 40 inches, we can bring the same rise inside the trailer and spread it out over a longer distance so that inside, once your toys get to the top of the ramp, your transition angle is a lot lower and, and you're not worried about dragging the bottom of your bikes or let's say a lowered golf cart or something like that along the floor so you're not going to scratch your paint on the frame. Okay, now that we've explained how the Happy Jack system works, Let's go on out on the patio and, and talk about that for a second. Okay, so here we are out on the patio. Let's talk about this hidden screen real quick. This hidden screen comes down with ease. It works just like a roller shade would in your home. So you pull it all the way down and the bristles create a closure underneath. So you're not worried about bugs or anything coming underneath the screen to get inside. And it completely seals off the inside of the trailer while you're sitting inside enjoying your dining or just you know, some conversation with friends and you don't have to worry about getting bit by mosquitoes. To release it, to take it back to the top, you simply just pull it like a shade and it rolls right up. Back up out of the way. And now what you're seeing here on the end that we didn't discuss is the steel framing around the door. We have a seven foot six inch ramp door on this trailer and it gives you a 90 inch opening to bring toys inside or whatever you want to bring with you. And that is one of the largest you're going to find on any travel trailer toy hauler on the market. Now let's talk about the lino and the flooring that we use inside the Adrenaline trailers. The linoleum itself is called a Designer Carefree Congoleum, and it has been tested and proven to be compatible with the use of ATVs and UTVs. It is water and oil resistant, and it's not going to tear up over time bringing your toys in and out. As you can see on the floor with our D-ring setup, all of our D-rings are rated at 2,500 pounds. Each one of them is screwed through the flooring and into some metal that is attached to the frame. In the back end of the trailer, where you can see them on a vertical alignment, these have been screwed through the floor onto a steel plate that is welded to the frame vertically. As we get up in the kitchen and living areas, 
Those are horizontal D-rings and those are screwed down through the floor into the cross members of the frame. So you can rest assured that your toys are not going to go anywhere when strapped down because every D-ring in our trailer has been screwed into steel of some sort for structure and for strength. Okay, we've talked about everything back here. Let's go on up in the front of the trailer and talk about the bathroom and the bedroom setup. Okay, here we are at the bathroom. Now, what we've got is you've got a nice single bowl sink, a medicine cabinet. Above that, you've got a cabinet for towels and linens. We've also got step-in shower enclosures that have an actual shower curtain, and they've got about a two to three inch lip that you could use as a bathtub if you really needed to. Each of our bathrooms has an electric fan above, and it's also got a skylight above your shower for extra head height. In the Adrenaline, we wanted to focus and make sure that we had a large amount of space inside so you didn't feel so cramped in a, in a travel trailer. Okay, here we are in the bedroom of the 26CB. The first thing you're going to notice is that in the Adrenaline toy haulers, we use an actual residential queen size 60 by 80 inch mattress. That way, when you're going shopping for sheets and blankets, you can find something that's standard and you don't have to worry about some of the typical RV sizes. Over here behind me, we have a wardrobe with some more drawers. Underneath the bedspread here, we've got four drawers in the base of the bed. Every one of our floor plans, we put drawers in the base of the bed because sometimes that's just space that's missing and, and you do need drawer space in your, in your bedroom area. On the end of the bed over here, on, against this wall, there's a backer to put a TV. Your TV connection and a receptor are both above it. And then we've also got another wardrobe. Let me open that up so you can see inside. It's got the hanging bar and then another drawer below that. One of the other features in the bedroom that I didn't get to talk about is beside every one of our beds, you're going to find recepts for people that need to plug in their phones or maybe a CPAP machine. And then we've also installed USB connections for smart devices as well. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about in this trailer before we go on and back outside is the heating and cooling systems of this trailer. That way you can stay warm on a cool night or morning and stay cool on a hot Texas day like today. You'll find that our heating system is ducted throughout the trailer, throughout the base cabinets, and then as I mentioned on the outside that we have a duct into our underbelly as well. The AC itself is ducted throughout the entire trailer up in the roof. We use a 15K air option here in Texas. Uh, the standard for the Adrenaline trailer is a 13.5K BTU air conditioner. So once again, the heat and the AC are both ducted throughout the entire trailer. So here on a 26-foot interior box, you're not going to have any issues keeping it warm or cool, depending on the day that you're out camping. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to view our video today here at Motorhome Specialist. If you have any questions or comments about this trailer, feel free to look it up, MHSRV com or give one of the sales guys a call. You're not going to find any better sales or service experience than they give you here at Motorhome Specialist. Thanks again for your time. Motorhome Specialist is not only the number one volume selling motorhome dealer in the world, but also the number one selling coachman dealer in the world. Offering the most diverse selection of new and used motorhomes you'll find anywhere. With prices ranging from about $10,000 to over $2 million and every price point in between. At Motorhome Specialist, you'll never find our new motorhomes priced at MSRP. Instead, you'll find an upfront discounted sale price that you can easily compare with other products and dealerships across the country. No matter if you're veteran RVers, or first-time buyers just looking for quality information and a dealership that will treat you fairly. Motorhome Specialist Upfront Pricing will take the games, gimmicks, and anxiety about paying too much out of the sales process. Because at Motorhome Specialist, we believe everyone deserves the same low price. It is this business principle that allowed Motorhome Specialist to grow from being a small pre-owned only dealership in 1999 to the industry leader, selling approximately 40% of all new motorhomes sold in Texas. We offer over 100 different models of new motorhomes from 15 of the most well-known and iconic brands in the RV industry. Each are committed to producing quality products 
and offers something distinctly different in both style and function. Over $135 million of these amazing products, all at one central location, making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream RV home. And when you purchase any new Coachman RV from Motorhome Specialist, you'll not only enjoy superior service, selection, and pricing, but also receive a free one-year membership in the Coachman Owners Association. This added value not only provides a host of travel services and campground discounts, but also 24-7 online support that helps locate these needed services while offering savings at more than 180,000 merchants across the country. Coachman RV's origins date all the way back to 1964. Recently, they became part of Forest River and the world-famous Berkshire Hathaway Group. Berkshire Hathaway's current list of companies includes some of the most well-known in the world. Forest River has over 60 plants nationwide manufacturing more than 80 different makes of trailers, fifth wheels, boats, cargo trailers, manufactured and modular homes, commercial vehicles, shuttle buses, and of course, luxury class C, class A gas, and diesel pusher motorhomes. Visit MHSRV.com today for pricing and maybe take a few minutes to read a couple of our now almost 3,000 five-star customer reviews and see what they had to say about their experience here at Motorhome Specialist. If you think that this is the right unit for you and your family, please contact a representative from Motorhome Specialist. We have easy financing with up to 20-year terms available and year-round sale prices on our entire inventory. We sell RVs to people literally all over the world. If you're flying in, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you to your new RV. Each new RV goes through a rigorous service checklist twice before your arrival. Once here, you will be greeted by a service tech and shown how everything works and that everything is working properly on your new unit. You will also have an RV starter kit that includes a new water hose, sewer hose, and much more. Thanks for watching our video. We all look forward to hearing from you soon.